What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step by step walkthrough. Today, first thing I want to say is Bernie says hello. And I'm going to show you everything you need to know about how to add stuff to the old school SharePoint calendar, also known as the events list. Stick around! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, let's get that time rolling. But before we do, please like, share, subscribe. We appreciate you. Thank you. Let's get on to it. First thing you do is get that gear icon. You're gonna go to site content. You're gonna see what's going on in the site content. You're gonna wave that thing to load. It's gonna be like ba ba bam ba ba bam. And then you're gonna scroll, scroll, scroll until you see the calendar icon. You're gonna find things. This time we're gonna go to events. It's called events for events because you're gonna put in events and you just double click and double click. Just keep it simple. And then you're gonna be like, who's this Bernie cat? And be like, Bernie, hello session and then you're gonna do the thing and the and, and boom there you go there you added a thing to the events list now that's the quick down and dirty version let's breathe and slow it down there we go just in out okay so the old school events calendar well let's just take a little trip here okay Let's just take a little trip to a place called home. We're going to go home, okay? And yeah, it looks like this calendar, when you get a new uh, communication site, you're going to get this little calendar. I'm talking just like regular blank, not these new templates. You're going to have this modern web part here that is going to show you calendar events, okay? And, you know, basically, I do believe there's things that would show up here if you know there was something going on in this particular calendar that this is looking at but you might be wondering well how do we know which calendar is being looked at well all we got to do is we're going to go back home here and we're going to edit this page we're going to edit the page and see where is this calendar pulling its data so we're going to click on it and we're going to gear or go to the um the slider bars and then we can say oh, okay there's one site selected all right and it's the calendar demo site now that makes sense so I was wondering how come the event that I just added to the events calendar wasn't showing up here it's because this particular web part is looking at an entirely different site called calendar demos it is an entire site or if you really want to get old school site collection High five if you remember site collections. All right. Um, entirely separate site containing its own set of calendars and there's nothing going on. So that's why this is showing up blank. Um, it'd be nice if this would show, well, it says no upcoming events, but I've got to figure out a way to not make it show like this default information because it makes it look like your web part's not fully built. But no, your web part's fully built. It's just that there's nothing going on on those days. So it just fills that in. There's got to be a way around that. So if we want to see the event that I just added, we're going to deselect this here. And we can go to our source. We can say events list on this site. We could say every event list on this site. That's what this site would look at every event list on the site and just combine it all into that one web part. This site collection, if you have subsites, which you should not. Um, all sites in the hub, if you've got other uh, hubs, hub sites connected to this, um, or all sites in every, every site, that would be, that could be a lot depending on your application. So we're going to say events list on this site, and I know it will let me choose the one called events, and then I do believe, let's see, I don't see, I'm just going to have to publish, I don't see an apply, so I'll go ahead and republish it and now we refresh and we see how long this takes to actually show come on well, let's just verify oh it was the 17th i i think i chose the wrong day okay hang on um actually no we're gonna go we gotta go back to the list okay uh we're just gonna go to site contents we're gonna find the events list 
And by the way, this is the default event list for communication sites. It's going to be named events. So I should have, I wonder if I can just drag, um, drag this. Is it going to do that? Oh, snap. That was sweet. Let's F5 it. There's something that you bet you didn't, you weren't going to see. I wasn't expecting to see it myself. I mean, I've done it before, but it's been a long time, so wasn't sure. All right, so, well, there it is. Boom. So um, this all stemmed from a user question. I'll show that here. Probably should have showed it at the beginning. Better late than never. So a great big shout out to English Skills 500 for this comment a few days ago. But this events list is not really a list, is it? It's laid out like a paper calendar. How can we open this list like a regular SharePoint list and add data that way? Surely that must be possible. It would make it a lot easier to enter large numbers of items. All right, say less. So let's take a peek here. And some of this will be recapped from the original beginning, but let me go ahead and uh, republish this here. So, okay. So first off, how do we get to that? like regular list and yes it is laid out like a paper calendar I just don't have lots of events in here that probably would have been good to pre-bake some stuff so you could but it's neither here nor there there you go you can see it's gonna lay them out um, several of them here in this web part uh, and it looks different than you know a standard SharePoint list or the old-school SharePoint list and as a matter of fact there is no modern equivalent of the uh, the old-school calendar list that we're about to show you so enough talking about it let's just go ahead and do it again click the gear icon go to site content and you're going to scroll in site contents until you see that little calendar icon and I do believe it also has a description in the uh, type column it is column type events list these are the old school calendars I think I have a video out there on how to create them I think it could be linked up there um but yeah, so you look for the little calendar icon events list and you click on it and then it's going to take you to, yes, it's going to be laid out, laid out like a paper calendar. Um, oh, and so it's sounding like maybe the person knows about getting to the list, but it is laid out like a paper calendar. So here, uh, yes, it is. However, uh, if you wanted to convert this into something that was a little bit more data entry friendly versus going onesie twosies, um, or having to like open up a new uh, uh, form each time uh, you can go to your uh, go to the calendar tab and you can change the view so a default view that you get with every calendar is calendar but you also get all events all events should list everything that's in that calendar from the beginning from it from it was bleh, from when it was created till today everything and if you are tempted to mess with this all events and filter so it's not all events don't come here say that one more time there is a view matter of fact all SharePoint lists have a view it is called all something this is a public service announcement if you encounter a view in SharePoint and it is called all something do not do not put some ASMR <laughs> Do not filter it, because if you filter it, by nature of filtering, you are filtering out something, because if you're not filtering, then you have what? You have all. Don't filter all the views that have all in them, all events. Do not. Just don't mess with the default views. Just leave them alone. Le leave that all alone. Okay. I totally lost where I was. Okay, so basically, um, this is how you can see it in a list format. Now... Um, I do believe you can go to quick edit if we click on edit this list and now you can do your, you know, your happy dance and go in and just type in stuff and say like, you know, Bernie autograph session. Maybe we capitalize that. Okay. Location. We can just grab a date, you know, I mean, you could type it in if you wanted to, if you're like, really? Oh, I, I can't. Oh, wow. Why? Why? Someone tell me why. I swear it did not show up, but maybe I was clicking too fast. So you pick the thing, 
and you do the thing and you do the thing and you pick the thing and you do the thing and there's the thing all right and you could probably add other columns and stuff but if you want to see more let me know I uh, just wanted to make sure that I address your questions because it's important if one person is wondering then there might be others who wonder thank you so much for your support we have over 3,500 subscribers that's you we appreciate you let us know what you need remember do the very best you can with what you got SharePoint rocks and so do you we'll see you next time I'm a SharePoint expert play with data extra careful with my hands cuz I gotta use them forward yeah I'm a big old nerd I like maple syrup all my pancakes I don't care what you heard